Hey fam, what's going on, man? Bro Hill checking back in with another video. Uh, I just wanted to share with you guys a quick word that I had on my heart. Uh, something that is very important. Something that we need to be asking ourselves. Rather, be observing of what's going on around us. You know, the question still lies within each and every one of us. Are we dressed for the occasion? And I say that because a lot of what's going on out here in this world, a lot of people turning a blind eye to uh, they're really just not, you know, at heed to what the Father is showing us, you know, and what's going on in the times that we're living in with the signs of the times. So you dress for the occasion. I know a lot of us, we take pride in our appearance. Me, you, us, all of us, either you're, you're a man, you're a woman, you know, your kids, whatever. We, you know, we like to get draped up and dripped down from head to toe. And I admire that. And everybody, we are told to dress, you know, dress and, and look presentable as if we're representing the Father. But it becomes a part of our lives to where, you know, we are, or have neglected the more important side of being draped up and dripped down. And that's in the spirit. We walk out our house a day. Some of us, we stay in our house a day. And we don't even put on our armor that we're told to put on. And I'm guilty of it. I'm speaking to myself too because this is a problem. And as I'm in prayer and as I'm going throughout my day, I'm hearing the spirit communicating this to me. And as I'm being spirit fed with food to be able to share with you guys, it's clear cut that we walking out on the battlefield with nothing on. It's no different if you're working at a construction site and you got to wear all your full PPE or you working in a hospital, you got to wear all your full personal protective equipment. Are you working at a fast food restaurant? You're supposed to wear all your personal protective equipment that you need for your daily operation or your role in whatever, you know, your job title or your work is. And we are told to put the full armor on of God. Why? God done tested that thing. We first and foremost, again, if you don't know, we spirits before we are just our flesh. We're not just our flesh. And the devil is very deceptive in making people think that that's all you are. It's just your flesh. That's why most people live by what they can touch, taste, feel, smell, and hear. So we get ganked in the spirit because we live in the physical. So whenever you walk in out of the house every day, the devil ain't playing like Craig told Smokey. Man, you walk up and down the street every day playing. These dudes that got condemned to eternal hell fight, they got a personal vendetta against God and his children. So they ain't playing. They playing for keeps. Indeed, they are. So whenever we leave the house and we go through all of these things that we're going through, for one, it's because we ain't educated spiritually. First and foremost, we neglect the former, right? And that's the most important thing, knowing what we're supposed to do on a day-to-day -day basis in the spirit. It's one thing to know that you are saved and you're born again and all of this, but and you go to church. It's another thing when you go to church and the church ain't got the right message. Everybody preaching all these different messages. You got a, a church, 10 different churches within five blocks is, and all of them preaching something different. So back to the beginning, open a statement of what I said is that, are you draped up and dripped down with the right clothes on? We spend Millions of dollars on tennis shoes, especially in the black and brown community. You understand what I'm saying? Jordans, uh, Nikes, New Balance, all of this here. Ferragamos, all these latest and greatest stylish fashions, right? Uh, again, the enemy going to make all this stuff look like it's alluring, uh, uh, very likable, comical, right? Stylish, because he was over culture. When he was in the kingdom before he got, you know, uh, kicked out. Him and the, the other angels that followed him. That was one of his areas of expertise. Culture. And if he can control the culture and control the minds of the people, he got you. So we called to put this armor on and we don't even know what it is. The kicks that I've been, man, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars just on tennis shoes. Tens, if not hundreds but at least tens of thousands of dollars on shoes. And I'm getting into this word and I'm discovering that we're supposed to be out here wearing the 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 the, the, the shoes, the kicks, the, the boots of peace, the gospel of peace, right? That's the name of these kicks. Remind me of MC Hammer cartoon. 
MC Hammer used to have a cartoon out years ago. Some of y'all might not even know about that. But he has some shoes that can talk. And it gave him a certain kind of ability to deal with the crime that was in his city. So these kicks that we got in the body of Christ, the gospel of peace, that's knowing first and foremost what the gospel is. But a lot of people don't even know what the gospel is. That's knowing what your place is in the body. If you are in Christ, you are seated in heavenly places with him. So that means that everything that we bending over backwards for, robbing Peter to pay Paul for, we got that. It's all already done deal. But you don't know your place, so you can't take advantage of what it is that you're supposed to have. So you scheme, you lie, you steal, you compromise your integrity to get ahead in life. Why? Because you don't know your place in the body. All right? You ain't got the right kicks on. We got Nikes, G Nikes, Jordans, Timberlands, all these different shoes on, but we ain't got the right ones on. So it's easy for the devil. It's fair game for the enemy. It's fair game for people who are ungodly in the world to take advantage of you, me, us, or anybody else who ain't prepared. Because you don't know. Why you don't know? Because you're so caught up in the moment. We get caught up in the moment. Caught up in the moment. And then before you know it, it done passed 20, 20, 20 years. Done passed. You done got caught up in the moment for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And you still don't know what pair of shoes to put on? This is a spiritual thing. So you got to get in the word. Okay. The gospel of peace. I know I'm in Christ Jesus. I know that I'm, all things are for the, for the king. You understand what I'm saying? In the kingdom. Back to the basics. The ministry of Jesus. The ministry of Jesus never changed. It's always been the same. Many churches, like I said, they're preaching different messages. That's why you got so many people that's divided and don't know what's going on. Because you got one church preaching prosperity, one church preaching the blood, one church preaching born again, and ain't nobody preaching the gospel that Jesus Christ preached, and that was the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? The governing influence of a king over his territory that he impacts with his personal will, intent, purpose, and everything else that he chooses to in between to add, which produces a culture of people that live under the king. That resemble his image, nature, and likeness. So though nothing that we have that is in our possession, ours. Go read the story of the parable of the, uh, the, the servants with the talents. He gave certain talents to each individual. Three different guys or four different guys. And all of them had the ability and they had an order to go and multiply that. Bring back. I want to reap a harvest. You know what I'm saying? Or at least draw interest off of it. So because we don't know these things, we live foolishly. Again, leave it wide open for the enemy to take over because we got the wrong pair of kicks on. You dig what I'm saying? We don't know what's happening out here. Then we're supposed to have our sword, which is the word of God. Oh, my goodness. If I would have knew this years ago, I would have avoided a lot of the stuff that I went through because I, I would have had the information that I needed to be able to fight back spiritually instead of carnally, instead of physically, right? I'm thinking that this is a personal vendetta between me and some individuals, flesh and blood. So yeah, I want to bang it out. Yeah, I want to shoot it out. Yeah, I want to duke it out and all of this because I don't know no better. I'm thinking this is just this dude that's coming at me. No, it's deeper than that. Like Rick Ross said, it's even deeper. It is. It's even deeper. It's spiritual. And the less spiritual laws and the less spiritual knowledge you have, the more free game is going to be for the enemy and people that's like him and people who don't believe in nothing that's in certain positions and places in this world. That's why we saying a lot of what we saying now. The people in the church have become bench warmers, sideliners, spectators. You understand what I'm saying? And it was purposely done like that. Why? Because we falling away from the faith. Uh, we fallen, we got that Titanic syndrome. And I say Titanic, I mean the people who was in the lifeboat on the Titanic. 1,500 people died in the Titanic, who, who were on those ship that weren't able to get in the life raft. It was totaled out to be 1,500 people. A lot of them people, all of them people could have gotten them lifeboats. But the people who was in them lifeboats refused to go back to go get the other people and feel that they was going to drown them, capsize the boats. And a lot of us living like that today. And then the people that's in the world who won't know nothing about nothing, they definitely not going to do nothing if they don't see the people who supposedly in the kingdom of light resembling the king. If you are in his kingdom, like a lot of us say that we are, 
Well, your life's supposed to resemble that. Your behavior's supposed to resemble that. We know what the enemy about. We know what the worldly people about. They about doing whatever. Do as thy will. We live and we eat and we drink and be merry because tomorrow we die. They ain't got, you know, they don't care. So why would they want to come over here? Why would I want to do this or that? You know what I'm saying? But again, faith come by hearing. They're hearing by the word of God. So it's one thing to hear it, but then it's also another thing to put it into practice. Then it's also another thing to see the people who hear it, live it, eat it, meditate on it, and resemble in it. The enemy, he rewards people from being evil and who are willing and yielding towards his agenda too. So all I'm saying is we got to be fitted right. We got to. The word of God is our sword. Jesus beat the devil down, made a spectacle of him, Bible says in Revelation, with his death. But when he was being tempted in the wilderness, he whipped him with the word of God. Something that a lot of us, all of us need to be doing. Studying, meditating, learning, and allowing he, the Holy Spirit, the invisible spirit, Jesus invisible. Jesus is God. He's the uh, physical image of the invisible father. Okay, the invisible father, Holy Spirit, who lives in us, who is around us, goes before us, behind us, on side us, and all of this stuff help teach us to make this stuff make sense to us. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes you're not going to be able to get to the church to go listen to the reverend or to get a hold of the reverend or the bishop or to any of the deacons. It's going to be just you and the Lord by yourself. And you got to know how to be able to use the word of God to fight your battles. It's nothing. You don't need to teach a child like talking about nowadays, especially not nowadays, how to pull the trigger. You see it on the news all the time, especially in the U.S. Children finding guns, taking guns to school, going to schools, going to theater, shooting them up, blowing people up, all kind of stuff. They doing the devil bidding and don't even know it. So we supposed to be on this hill learning the word of God because it's true and it cuts through everything, man. All the way penetrating into the bone marrow, to the gristle, past the gristle. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't know nothing, you can't do nothing. And God tell you that in Hosea 4, 6. My people are dying and perishing. How and why? Because of lack of knowledge. It ain't because they couldn't find it. It wouldn't because he hid it or it's hidden. It's there. We don't, we so distracted. We so caught up in the moment of things. You follow me? Living for the world or trying to be in a trend, trying to be in the crowd, trying to do this and that and, and inflate the bag and all this other stupid stuff that don't mean nothing. In a world that's passing away quick, fast, and in a hurry. Getting draped up and dripped down with the breast, uh, breast, breastplate of righteousness. Standing right, standing with the Father. The devil's aim is to get you out of alignment with the Father. Why? Because you won't get no blessings. As long as you're born again and baptized in the Spirit, yes, you'll die, you'll go to heaven and all of this stuff. But still, you won't be able to live a kingdom lifestyle here and now. And that's what he don't want. The best thing that I've learned over the years to get ahead and to affect the individual who is very controlling, very uh, power hungry and all of this stuff is to go against his grain, get in allegiance, get in right standing with the father. Don't submit to the devil. And if you don't know that you're submitting to the devil, today can be the day that you can repent and turn and go to the father through the son. Because if you just try to bypass the son going to the father, you get <laughs> It's detrimental. The Father is holy, so we are to be, be holy. He can't look at us. He can't accept us the way that we are. Dirty, blemished, full of our sin, full of last week's liquor and weed and sexual immorality. It'll kill us. So you got to get the blood first. So when he look at you, he can see his son. That's what that's about. But you got to be led to him first. You understand? It's a process. You can't just bypass Jesus and then psh, we're going straight to God. No, it's a process. God is holy. He's sovereign. He's a king. We are in a kingdom. We are a part of a kingdom. And the citizens who are here on this earth, we are supposed to be resembling our king. Period. Point blank. He gave us his armor and he expects us to use it. Helmet of salvation. That's knowing for sure, like you know, like you know, no, no, that you've been saved. You got that salvation. The enemy can't come at you sideways, telling you sweet nothings, twisting the truth, twisting the lies and all of this other stuff like he did Eve. As an example, in the garden, he threw a question out there and she 
bit and she gave him all the information that he needed to know. Did the Lord thy God tell you not to eat from this tree, uh, from any of the trees? He didn't say which one, but any of the trees. And she told him everything. Now, he didn't say that, but he did say we can't eat this particular tree right here in the middle of the garden, but we can eat this and that and that. He told, she told him everything. And there are a lot of people that's posing as sheep, but they're wolves. That's doing that in the church. They don't know nothing about nothing. People who may have good intentions, who are in the body, but they are not educated. They do not have the right motives or intentions, and they're like ravenous, ravenous wolves, just ripping through people's resources, families, emotions, physical uh, bodies, and all of this stuff. Why? Because we ain't draped up and dripped down with the right, <laughs> right gear. Our gear game and the spirit is off. Well, right out the house, don't take the helmet of salvation. Well, right out the house. Definitely don't pick up the sword. You grab the Uzi, but you don't grab the sword, which is the word of God. And you can't fight back with the word of God if you don't know the word of God. That's like spinach to Popeye. What's happening? Talk to me. Holler at me, somebody. But I'm going to let you roll with it, though. And then you got to gird yourself with truth. Gird your lines with the truth. Everything that God speaks is true. Jesus spoke everything that his father spoke to him. He is the word. The word came live. But the devil can't. He's the father of lies and he speaks his native tongue. So all of those sweet nothings and all of this stuff that he says in your mind through your voice and all of this stuff, that's him. He's lying. Oh, you can't do it. Oh, you'll never make it. Oh, you look this way. Don't even go for it. That's a lie. If he's telling you that, you got it. He's afraid of you manifesting Christ within yourself. Christianity is Christ having his way manifested itself in you, having his way in your life as you through you for everyone, <laughs> all of us, you, me, us, all of us. That's what this is about. That's what it's about. But you don't want to waste your life chasing a dream, chasing a, a, a fairy tale, uh, getting ganked. Man, that's 2024. I, I know a lot of us are tired of being ganked. All right? They got people pay more attention to politics than what's going on in the scriptures so they can fight back and be strong in the word of God, right? So that you can live a non-bothered life. Not saying that you're going to be free from anything. That's a lie. But the stuff, the little minute stuff that goes on, especially with our past being replayed and us repeating cycles, you can deal with that. The devil is cracked and he's very victorious in making people relive their past because people don't want to let it go. They don't want to be, you know, they don't want to forgive. It's all about me. Never about us. What can I get? Never about the Father. Yes, Lord, your will, not my will be done. Come on now. What is happening? Man, you got to stay in the word. The word is true. And if you fall down, get up again. All of us fall short. But that don't mean stay away from the body. That don't mean stay away from the Father. Let him help you. Let him uh restore you, redeem you. It says that in Psalms, for your name's sake. That means for your reputation's sake. People have recalls on calls and products. Manufacturers do recalls. Mass nationwide recalls. Why? Because they name on the line. And if my all I got is my reputation as a company. I don't I have a business. I have two businesses. If I three. And all I have is my reputation. I got to stand behind my product. Y'all know what Frank Lucas said? <laughs> Blue Magic. You know, that's a brand name. All right? Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nishi, Jehovah Tishkanu. That's the overlord of all things of creation. That is the brand name. That is the name. You follow me? So come on, man. We got to get it together out here. 2024. You got to get it together. All of us, man. And I'm speaking from a place of love. But this is for me, too. I'm like, Lord, thank you. Yeah, I done spent all this money buying all these shoes, buying clothes, and ain't got the right. Don't even know what I, what I got in my possession. And what's crazy with us is that the good thing about it, right, is that the price been paid for this uniform, for this armor. For this gift, the price has been paid. So you ain't coming out of pocket. Only thing that you're doing is what you paying is the repentance side, the change of heart, the change of mind, 
the leaving the old self behind and putting on a new self and you know yeah yeah i can fast this long yeah i can you know i can go out and i can get on stage or i can get on the play i can do this i can do that right through he who strengthens me because all things are possible with god yes i'm not how i used to be yeah i ain't where i want to be but i'm definitely not what i used to be and i don't care about your opinions you gotta think like that people will laugh with you smile with you pray with you eat with you sleep at the same place with you, give you, and all of this stuff. And they will throw shade, fiery dust. They will stick you in the side like it ain't nothing. Through opinions, they'll throw verbal stones at you, man. But as long as you got your armor on, do your best, do, you know, do your worst. You know what I'm saying? Do your worst. I know who I belong to. I know my place. Yeah, I'm physically here. I'm having on two legs. This is what all this boils down to. All right, Christ, same way in Jesus. Having on two legs. I confer on y'all what? A kingdom, not a religion. I confer on you a kingdom, that which was conferred on me by my father. All right? I'm not conferring on you lack, stress, worry, ill will, ill health, and all of this stuff. Conferring on you love, joy, peace, patience, forbearance, gentleness, meekness. You got all of that. Fearlessness, mighty man of valor, young man, mighty woman of valor, young lady. Who told you any different? The father didn't tell you that. The father is careful to watch him, watch over his word so he can perform it. The devil is careful to perform his word too. Oh man, it ain't looking too good. You know, this job is killing me. Well, guess what it is? Man, I'm gonna lose my phone, my, my house, my phone, my car. Well, guess what? You gonna lose it. If that's what you believe in and you feeling and you keep rerunning in your mind. God didn't say that. Jesus didn't say that. You are healed by strife. You got to know what the word say. That's your sword. You got to swing that thing. You ain't taking my house. You ain't taking my car. No, you can't have my bank balance. No, you can't have my mind. No, you can't have my soul. It don't belong to you. It don't belong to me to give it no ways. It belongs to the Father. His spirit was made for my body. My body was made for his spirit. So I can carry out his will on this earth. In love. In peace. In joy. In he the Holy Spirit. Man, we got to get it together. Real talk. I'm so serious. All of us, man. I love y'all. <laughs> I just want us to be in one. The father says, man, it pleases him. You want to do what, a king, what pleases a king? Like the little girl did for King, uh, I forgot what it was, King Harry. Dance for me, little girl. Dance. And I give you up to half my kingdom. And she did. Why? She pleased the king. We talking kingdom talk. We got to get out of this modern day uh, uh, Republican, Democratic mindset because we're a part of a kingdom. And in the kingdom, you got rights. That's why Jesus said, I'm conferring on y'all a kingdom like my father conferred on me. I'm giving you, you have right now, yes, you in your possession, power and authority to trample over snakes, scorpions, and all, not some, all of the powers of the evil one. Whipping with the sword. That's the word of God. You cannot appropriate what you don't know. If you don't know how to fight, you're going to get it all the time, every time. Think from a physical standpoint now. You know you can't fight, but you running your mouth 100 miles an hour. You know you ain't got no hands, but you talking mad trash. You know you can't swing a lick, but you talking about whipping the sleeves off somebody. You know you ain't got it going on, but you behind the computer screen doing all this keyboard beef. It's the same in the spirit. But you're called to follow the word, meditate on the word, you know, uplift your brothers and sisters. I spend a lot of time behind the scenes and alone in a place far away from here uh, for the earlier part of my adult life, you know, and I finally have gotten set free by the sun, man. And I'm able to turn around and to help 
my brothers, my sisters, anybody who got an ear who want to hear, who wants to listen, who can receive it, I'm here for you in that area, in that department. No, I don't know everything, but I know somebody who do. No, I ain't been to this college or that college, but I know somebody who have. You know, people, you know, think they deep because they got, don't be persuaded by people who come with all this stuff, man. They deep because they got a piece of paper that say that they graduate. Okay, that's cool. You let me know that you know how to start something and you know how to finish something. That's it. Because the Holy Spirit is the power of God. Go look at Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. All right, he put all this into order. The king spoke, the spirit moved. The king speaks, the governor acts. Get it right. We're talking kingdom talk. So it's no different in your life. It's no different in your life. You got to be the same way. It is no different in your life. I know I said it was a little quick word, man. It's a little... It's a little late, you know. I just has this is on my heart, man. I'm like, yo, I had to get this this message out, you know. And I want to commend, you know, a lot of the people who have been rocking with me from the beginning, who, you know, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, I, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you. And then some of the other people who, you know, my YouTube family, I thank y'all as well. Thank you. you know, it's a lot that we can learn from each other. It's a lot that each one of us, you, me, and all of us, we have been through that can help somebody else why not share it stop looking for the get paper get the bag right first before you start acting start acting and then worry about the side blessing the monetary side of things later don't worry about how you look don't worry about what your voice sound like don't worry about how your hair is you know i mean look presentable don't get on here looking like wolfman jack or somebody that got hit with a sack of potatoes <laughs> but I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, look presentable, but don't be afraid. Don't be nervous. Be at, be at people's service. And that's what Christ says. That's what Jesus said. The greatest among you shall be the servant, shall be the slave. So, man, y'all be blessed. I right, check y'all on another one, man. Peace.